Some of these I'll be honest, they just need a little bit of this, a little bit of that hot tour on it. <laughs> I'm not putting that in. Hey, what up and welcome to another episode of Crease Deep. And if you read the title, you already know what we're going to be talking about. It is 2024 and the weird situation, I guess, the sneaker world is in. It just feels super different, man. Like, last year everything was on special, going on sale, and it was great. We had a little bit of that at the start of the year. It feels like companies have... It feels like in certain ways and certain models, they've, you know pulled the numbers back a little bit, but production lead in time takes a while. So certain things, maybe they weren't able to do that with, but before I go all the way into it, let's go shopping. Now that was a couple weeks ago, right? I want to say, I want to say a week after the military blues dropped. Still able to get a pair. I think my size was there. I know there was a 12, and that's just a local, like smaller Footlocker that didn't get much of an allocation, right? Absolute blasphemy. Let's fast forward to today, which was it 26th, 27th? I don't know. Whenever Origin was on. It's crazy to see the Battle Blues restocked. That's a really good move because it's a popular colorway that people were keen on. Um, I didn't pick up a pair, like, I really like them, but I just know I probably won't wear them as much. I feel like the current generation of TNs, like the quality isn't great on them and they're not that comfortable like from when I had them years and years ago, right? The most comfortable pair I got is the recycle joints. They're, they're really nice, but cool to see them restock for people that want them, they don't have to pay resell, right? But what really caught my attention were these ASICs, and apparently they're exclusive colorways, I'm not too sure what the deal is there, but just the use of where they put the colors. I, I like it, I don't like that colorway, like so much that I would wear it, but just the use of where they put the colors and broke it up in different things, I'm like, yeah, I really like that. So if we can get something like that, but nicer colors, it'll be dope. But seeing the, the black and white Jordan ones, the reverse Panda joints, the Jordan 4 oxidized greens, or as I like to call them, the prison greens, shout out to Boyd. Um, it's a really weird time. And for me, I don't really see myself purchasing much in the near future. So what I thought I would do instead, since you guys keep asking for my collection video, this is about the closest we're going to get for the moment. I'm going to run through. It is winter time as well. It's a good time to check your sneakers over to make sure there's no mold. And we're going to go through this whole wall behind me and make sure that we get everything. Make sure we anything needs to be cleaned, if it's got mold, whatever, we're going to clean it all. Thanks to the power of Ethicare. Let's go. Make some 
Let's be honest, if I was to even time lapse me cleaning my entire sneaker collection or just getting them out here, like you're not gonna sit through the whole thing, like that's crazy. Um, so <laughs> we're gonna fast forward, skip through as much as we can, keep it still interesting, but yeah, they're like going through all of this was a lot. I was basically looking for mold, any that needed to be cleaned, and the idea is we're gonna do everything. Of course, we've got the ether care, had to get that out. Once I got my pile of shoes ready, like bringing them out to the table and the rotation and doing that, like this took a lot, this was a lot. This was the biggest cleaning exercise that I've essentially taken on. Like this was so much work, but we got through it in one sitting stuff i've probably put off but yeah we're doing it all that was the idea now let's get into it i'm gonna be honest this is gonna take way too long so what i'm gonna do is like film little bits with this but like time lapse with the gopro so Crazy dirt there. I've got most of it. I think most of it was there actually, but let's just go one more. I can't even remember the last time I wore these, so built in dirt. No problem. These joints here, I don't even know if I really need to clean them or want to clean them. Looks like there's a little bit of mold on them. I'm gonna clean that up, that part, but I might just give these away to be honest. These joints had sand on them, so I don't even remember the last time I wore them, but they got sand on them, so should be an easy fix. actually had crazy crazy sparkles all over them and I've managed to get most of that off just with the ether care and the, the synthetic towel crazy this one I literally have no idea what to do with because it's like a reflective material but it's got like these weird spots so I could fuck these up. I don't know why I picked these out. These aren't even really dirty. I think I've worn them once, but maybe I'll get rid of them. These are one of the oldest pairs that I still wear um, and still able to wear. You can see they're getting cloudy in this, uh, airbags, but cleaned up really nice. I still wear these, no problem. I want to say 2000... Oh, what did we work out? It says 2018. That's not that old. I don't know what that is, but I don't like it. Let's try and get rid of it. As much as I've held on to these since what, 2012? These might have to go in the bin. They're like calcified. This colorway is insane. I wish they brought out the fours that were gonna be released in this pack. Some of these, I'll be honest, they just need a little bit of this, a little bit of that hot tour on it. <laughs> Fuck, I, I'm not putting that in. It makes me mad that these don't look as great as they could be and I'm thinking about taking them to my guy Urban Disciple to get these sorted so 
think I've only worn them a couple times, but that toe box just looks garbage. So I might have to, I don't know, maybe he's gonna redo them or something. These actually may be the perfect shape of Jordan 3 to me, the most comfortable, everything like that, with the padding around the heel. But these are being super beat. I may just sell these for like 50 bucks at the next kickstand event. I don't know. Now these have little weird bits on them that go like black. You can see there. I don't know if that's mold or what. I'm gonna see if they clean out. I don't like my chances. I think it's just the metallic shit just dying at the end of the day. You guys thought all I wore was Nike and Jordan, yeah? I got shell toes, bro. It's the other one with sand in it. <laughs> These are meant to be re-releasing this year and I'm kind of torn because I need a new pair but at the same time like give me some true blues. These didn't come out that long ago. 2017, you know what I'm saying? But mine, and a lot of pairs I've got, I've got these weird yellow marks on the paint. I don't know what it is. Could just be my eyesight failing, I don't know. But These this quality, if every three was this quality, I'll be stoked. Now these came out in 2018, but if they were to re-release today, I'd buy 10 pairs, because this is the perfect Jordan. Look at that paint. I want to say I just cleaned like 30, 40 pairs of shoes. It's insane. Um, I'm not going to make you sit through all of that. It's going to be a time lapse with bits and pieces. But look, I feel like we overvalue things with a recency bias. And this was a whole idea of like nothing's coming out just because nothing's coming out doesn't mean you should buy stuff anyway. Maybe value the collection you already have. That's what I'm doing. Now, if I didn't put that in 2000% speed, and if I didn't chop it up in and out, this would have taken forever, right? And same with the cleaning. Um, I think the GoPro, I just forgot the, like it ran out. It stopped recording the time lapse. I don't know. Because I definitely cleaned more than what was there, but man absolutely insane that took forever i was doing like a speed run type thing even the way that i was doing it but you get the best results anyway if you're using the right products if you want to get the best in the business ethercare use my code crease t20 get 20 percent off why not save money and keep your shoes clean right they also like the waterproof and spray is my favorite thing every sneaker head should put a waterproof and spray on their shoes when they cop, right? This one leaves them smelling like sandalwood. It's a very mature, very wholesome type smell. But let's get in the rest of this. We said things are sitting. Things that, if you look at like say the reverse Panda, the black and white Jordan one, right? If you take in all the information of the last few years, a black and white sneaker is gonna go nuts. So their lead in time, Let's say maybe it's a year to when they decide. At the time, the Panda Dunk, well, a year. Maybe when it was first conceptualized, it'd be over a year. But the Panda Dunk's going crazy. They can't restock it enough. Out of nowhere, the interest from resellers dies off, and then it just becomes the GR that it is. Military blacks go crazy. Um. Just about any black and white sneakers going crazy. So the the biggest money maker at the time, the Jordan 1, let's put that into a black and white sneaker. Fast forward to now, 
No one really cares about Jordan 1's all black and white sneakers. They want something different. If I'm being honest, what I'm seeing most people wearing is Asics, New Balance, and Air Max, right? TNs are going crazy. The Air Max 180 went crazy. The fact that that was so hard to cop is insane. Randomly, I think they restocked on supply or something. Maybe some raffles got brought back. I don't know. But I almost grabbed the double because they're so comfortable. But even when we look at the military blues, I haven't been to Sydney. I couldn't tell you if they're sitting down there. But like, I only see pairs for sale on Marketplace for pretty much retail. It's usually like 320 to cover shipping, right? The shipping that they paid. It's insane. It, it is. And like I look at it too. There's been so many times where like. If I stumble on something in person. I see it. I like it. I'm like. Nah. I get caught up in the moment. I'll buy it. That's not happening at the moment. Like. The Jordan 1 Low Shadows. I've seen them a hundred times in the wild. I like them. But then I keep thinking like. I still ain't laced these joints up yet. I really should. I should do that right now. Should try and find the black laces. Because apparently they're going missing. But it's it's just such a weird time. Like I put it down to during the 2020 era, right? There was that fear of missing out. So we race to buy something just in case we may like it and we didn't want to miss out just in case. Because as soon as you start hearing the resale prices, you go, damn, I could have copped them. And that fear of missing out creeps in even more. That's not happening. Things are sitting. And at first it was like, when it goes on special, I'll cop, right? V threes, I had to have. They were a pair that I just had to have. It's crazy to me that I can get them for, I want to say 175 now, probably even cheaper if I go looking. The glow green threes. I still am not sure why I don't like them, but I don't like them. It's like an improvement on a black cement. That's, that's wild. That's crazy to say. I shouldn't say that. I'm not going to say that, but... I think the only thing that's still holding up is SB Dunks. And there just hasn't been that many crazy SB Dunk releases this year. You got the big monies, got the Futuras. A pair of them are arguably top five sneakers of the year, depending on what you're into. But like, there hasn't been that many dropped. There's been a bunch of GRs, but like nothing going crazy. I know there are things coming out, but it is just such a weird year. There's like, no one seems to be copying anything. Like, I, I find myself like thinking, do I need to cop something? Makes interesting content when I do this and I can review and you guys get to see that. But like, I'm never going to force it. It just makes no sense. I should value the sneakers that I already have. And that's what this episode was about, right? Not only take a note that this is a really weird year for sneakers like the trends everything whatever selling like it's completely different to any time that i can remember seeing like asics and new balance in resale stores um it's just super crazy but gonna be an interesting year when we get to the like the top lists because usually by about this time last year or any year previous i've got like a draft i keep adding stuff throughout the years so i don't forget right it hasn't really been much but for me i feel like one of the things that plays a part in it was these companies took advantage of the 2020 era right everything's selling out resellers popping up you know Knock down to 12 pop up more. And instead of like creating, 
right? A little bit of creativity, having new ideas or anything like that. We've just been given the same retros in a thousand different colorways. And I'm not saying that, you know, don't do retros. I definitely enjoy retros, especially of iconic or OG colorways. But what I'm saying is when you see certain colorways and you're like, that doesn't need to exist. How about a little bit of creativity, something different? I don't know. Takes me back to something that Sean McDowell said when he was in Sydney, when we uh, went and did the Q&A with him for the TN, right? He was saying there was something in the company at that time where it was like, just try anything. Whereas now, everything's reflective of algorithms and for stock price and shareholders. That's not that interesting to a creative, to a sneakerhead, to someone, I don't know. Let me know in the comments what you think. If you made it this far, a lot of cleaning, a lot of whatever. I've, I've trimmed what I could, and but still want to get them little bits and give you a showcase because so many people being hit me up want to see the whole collection, right? One day we'll do it. I feel like I need to get a few more collection videos in the bag and get, get it nice and solid and tight before we do mine but this has been another episode of crease deep make sure you like share subscribe we'll be back twice a week peace hey what up and welcome to another episode of crease t and by the tiding and by the title we're going to be talking about 2024 and the weird the weird sneaker game <clears> Thank <throat>